when God wanted to honor his people, he established priesthood. When God wanted to lift up his people, he established for them the priesthood. And for us, who has been elected in this honored ministry, we humble ourselves before the Lord and we do the mission that was given to us. So the priest is the hand from underneath to lift up every person, the whole person. But no one, no one is able to lift anyone up unless they kneel down first. So if the work is lifting up every person, if the ministry of God for us is to honor his people, the know-how would be kneeling down. And kneeling down here is not about just word of humility. Kneeling down is a work of communications. Echo the example of Christ himself, who emptied himself and became human being like us to communicate with us. So he became like us, so we become like him. And that means that the work that is laid on the shoulder of the elect to be a priest is enormous. But it is to honor the people. It is to honor the body of Christ. As we are all the members of the body of Christ, and every one of us has assigned for a certain purpose, for a certain mission, for a certain talent, for a gift of Christ. And Christ is the head of the church. And that's why when we are coming closer to see that beauty of the priesthood, we humble ourselves. No, nothing, nothing like the people of God, the body of Christ, would feel the presence of God in their midst in a tangible way. That's why God has established the priesthood to show himself in a tangible way for his people. And that's why it's our responsibility as a community, as the body of Christ, as God wanted to honor his people, his people wanted to glorify God, to praise him, to embrace his gifts, and to feel that this is an expression of love. And that's why the life and the ministry of a priest is simply a liturgy after the liturgy. The, the liturgy is a sacramental liturgy in the altar where all of us with experience and enjoy the presence of God and feel that he is in there in the midst of us with the fullness of his presence to give us his body and his blood. For our life, then here is the same as we come in the church searching for the Messiah and when we find the Messiah God is telling us here is the headline for your meeting glory and honor honor and glory to the Holy Trinity this is the headline of our meeting it's honor and glory and glory and honor. And then what's given to us is peace, edification, 
building up, sanctification, holiness, justification, unity in Christ. Then we come and search for him within us. And then it's a teaching. Then the church wanted to envision us with Christ, that we are learning about him, not only about him, not with information. Information doesn't make life of people easier. But the information has to marry the soul. And when the soul marries this, this information, the information becomes knowledge. And when knowledge matures, it becomes vision. And vision has to incarnate and becomes action. So your presence in the midst of that glorious presence of God has to be with the fullness of your humanity being in. And the church is telling us about those experience of the people of God and crown it with the words of Jesus. But then, you see here, we come in the unity with Christ. And the life of a priest is not only officiating and being in the altar with the sacramental gift that's given to us, but within him, he would go out of the altar starting a liturgy after the liturgy. And the liturgy outside the altar is carrying from the altar the greatness of the glory of God, shining it to his people, extend it to his people. And here it's the process envisioning the people of God was Christ, with the vision of Christ. This is the work of a priest, to envision his people with the vision of Christ. Our work has to always be in that headline, honor and glory to the Holy Trinity. It's not honor and glory to the ministry, it's to him, it's not to the institutions or to the social work or to whatever kind of pastoral care things. It's to him. It's to the Trinity. It's to the incarnated God who loved us. And he became human being like us, so we become like him. That's the envisions. That's the work of a priest who comes from the altar carrying this great love of God and extended to his people to envision them with the vision of Christ. So the glory of God will overshadow his people, will overshadow his church. And that means that he would search, he would search and find Christ where every person Every person is the gift of God for us. Every person is the gift of Christ for us. So he would search. He would search and find people to bring them, to show them the way, and to envision them with the vision of Christ. And then he starts with the process of teaching. And teaching here is not about information again. It's an example. What we are searching for is an example. It's not great sermons. We've been listening to great sermons, but we need to find examples. People who would be able to kneel down and lift people up, teaching them the way of life and teaching them how to live their life. And our life is not only about commandments, about life in the life of Christ. And this is the work of a priest, teaching the way of life. And if you are able to see that, you will find them. Uh, the priest is carrying the censer coming out of 
touring the church, I want to tell you something. When you are walking in this very beautiful path, kneeling down, you will find people who will step over you. Don't worry about that. Look up. Look up to him, to Christ, the founder and the finisher of faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame. So when you put yourself in that censer, burning, kneeling down before the people, someone will come and step on you. Look up. Look up to him. In this moment to celebrate the gift of God for us, the expression of love for us, then we come to come there for the main purpose of God in this process is the unity. God wanted to unite himself with you. So he became human for us so we become like him, in him, for him, by him, through him. He is our life. Then we live for Christ. We live by Christ. We live in Christ. And that means that in the unity with Christ, we have everything. And then here, it's the living human being. So the glory of God is the living human being. It's you who are united in Christ. You live in Christ. So the glory of God would be in you, the living human being, who are united in him. Then his life is your. So your life is not anymore your life because you who believed in him, risen with him, in him, for him. Your life is hidden in him. And that's why when we celebrate together today, consecration of a new priest is an expression of God's love for us. It's a declaration of the headline of the message of God for us. It's a process of unity and care that we all wanted to see. So see the Lord's gifts for you. And for Chris, I feel so joyful that he is the one that we come today and consecrate. I'm not used to uh, praise people, but I'm very honored and happy that I'm here today as I knew about him and I knew him for many meetings in the um, uh, youth conventions that we've been together there with. So I feel that you are blessed people. And that's why, because you are blessed, God, wanted to honor you with the priesthood. And this is an expression not only God is telling you, hey, come, I see you, I see your pain, I see your suffering, I see your experience, I see you have been went, going through, I see, and now I want to heal you. I want to heal you. I want to heal your wounds. I want to lift you up. So I send you my elect to heal you. And that's because of the prayers, the constant prayers and the care of His Holiness, Pope Tawadros, who has been always caring and loving, thinking, working for this church. And I personally know how much he cares for you. So with the blessing of His Holiness, Pope Tawadros, now I would like to congratulate you. And I would never forget as well the um, 
tireless work that Bishop Peter has been doing, and he has done a great job here. He made a great transformation and a breakthrough here. So all of us will joyfully gather together in prayers, thanking God, praising Him for the great gift that He is in the midst of us, wanted to honor His people with priesthood. May the Lord bless you, guide you, give you wisdom to understand the Word of God, and glory be to God. Amen.